The Fortness robbery. Kent tried the case. The Fortness raid? Sorry. The secured warehouse inside Heathrow Airport? Only the third largest bullying job in British criminal history. We weren't exactly up on our current affairs in 1996. <sighs> yeah, too busy sitting computer games. 1996. David Bird, Terry McAvoy. A couple of Peckham boys, best mates. Burden's in a family business, thieving. McAvoy's straight. Then he stops being straight and he has an idea. He brings it to Burden. Now his idea is to rob the Fortner security warehouse. He knows security's slack, he's it. He reckons he can get Burden to knock him about a bit, make it look legit. There's just going to be the two of them. The more people on the job, the more chance of informers and betrayal. They're expecting a couple of hundred thousand. What they get is 30 million in gold ingots. Nice score. Well, you say that. Please twig it for an inside job and pick up McAvoy, who doesn't exactly stand up under questioning. Took him 20 minutes to give him burden. We already know the judge they're up before at the trial. So Ken threw the book at them. Yes and no. It seems that McAvoy couldn't stomach the idea of a long stretch, so he gets a message to Ken. He promises him the gold in return for a shorter sentence. Burden gets 15 years, McAvoy, three. Raised a few eyebrows, lenient sentences not being Ken's stock in trade. But before Ken could get his hands on the gold, McAvoy stabbed to death a month into his term. The police are convinced that Burden ordered a hit, but they can't pin anything on it. What, so there's 13 million in gold buried out there somewhere? Maybe, but there's no way to get at it. Well, we could think of something, surely. The gold isn't the point. The point is making Kent believe there's still a route to his gold and getting him to pay us to show him the way. Exactly. I reckon there's 100,000 in it for us. How? Excellent question. Burden served 11 years of his sentence. Threw himself under a goods train a week after his release. Now, why'd he go and do that? Who knows? Maybe remorse of his best friend. Maybe the realisation that he was never going to get to the gold without every rival gangster and cop in the country watching it. Either way, there was so little left by the time they scraped him off the track, they had to identify him from dental records. So if everyone who knew where the gold is is brand bred, then... How do we make Kent believe we know where it is? We perform a miracle. We raise burden from the dead. <laughs> 